Hey, this is John Petrucci. I'm here at Reverb.com hanging out. We're going to talk about gear and playing and lots of fun stuff. My first guitar was the very, very first one that I ever picked up when I was a little kid. Um, I didn't stick with it long. I kind of quit because it was too hard to play. It was actually a plastic nylon string guitar. I don't even remember the name of it. When I was 12, that's when I really got inspired to actually play because I, I was drawn to the instrument. And back then, I forget which one came first. I had like an Aria Pro 2. I had a Suzuki Les Paul that I bought in a flea market that was all decked out with like Mother of Pearl and a vine going down the neck. I grew up in New York. Uh, we had lots of rock and roll radio stations. So, of course, I heard Zeppelin and ACDC and Van Halen and all that. You know, and I try to learn some of that stuff and pick it up as, as best I could. There were a lot of people who played guitar in my neighborhood so I can go watch and see how it was done. But as I got better at the instrument and got more sort of addicted to it and practiced more, then I started to get turned on to more complex guitar music. You know, a friend, an older brother of a friend would say, oh, you got to check out this Casino album by Al Demiola, you know. You know, forget about uh, ACDC and all that stuff. You got to listen to the dregs. Check out Steve Morse. And that kind of stuff really changed my whole perspective. Yeah. Then I was really bit. So, so this is the Majesty signature guitar and uh, this particular version is the artisan. All of the kind of the, the angles and the bevels and everything are meant to just sort of perfectly fit into your body and get out of your way. Um, also, it's a neck through design, so there's no bolt on or anything there to, to uh, prevent you from getting to the higher frets. Access was important, so on the bottom horn here we took away um, a bunch of this material so you can get right up there with your hands, especially if you're doing like a nice big stretch like that and, and there's nothing uh, for your wrist to knock into. Something that's really interesting that Sterling Ball came up with is, you know, that's all well and good, but what about your thumb as it rises up the neck? Normally the guitar would probably cut into the neck around there. Uh, so he came up with this idea of carving away this wood, but the great thing is that your thumb kind of goes up as high as it can go and you have all this support. And it's also really light. You know, um, I play very long concerts, wearing this guitar all night, you know, you barely feel it. It's, it's nice and light. The curvature of all of, of where the controls are, it's all ergonomic. So as I'm playing, I can get to this switch quickly, get to this switch, get to the volume. One of the things that we started um, a couple of models ago was including a preamp circuit in the guitar. So the guitar now has a buffered out. So you can play on a 50 foot cable and you're not going to lose any, any sound, which is amazing for me because I do still use a cable. Also, it enabled us to do really whatever we want to manipulate things like the volume of the guitar. You're going to have a, a boost that's located on the volume control. So if you press on it, it, it engages. You see that the, the um, the volume knob come out and you know that the, uh, that the boost is engaged. And you could dial in on the inside of the guitar the amount of boost that you want, up to 20 dB. It, it's very evident on a clean sound. You know, if you listen to the guitar clean, I mean, that's how much boost you're getting. So if you were playing clean and you wanted your sound to come out, that's gonna happen. Now, if you were on a distorted sound already and you did that, like over here, You don't hear the volume increase because you're already kind of slamming the preamp already. But what will happen is that you're going to get more sustain. It's like a, like a clean boost, but it doesn't change the tone, which is beautiful. So if you're playing a note, you know.
you know, it's it's just you have that that clean boost right on your guitar.